I've waited a long time for a Shiras moose tag. And uh, we're here moose hunting. It's first week of October, prime rut. We spotted a cow, so she kind of just stood up. She's looking at us. We're just gonna kind of let her meander off and then see if there's a bull with her. There's a good chance there's gonna be a bull somewhere bedded by her. It's about as good of a sign as you could see right there. Normally, I, we would set up and call for the bulls, cow call, but when there's a cow here like this, my experience is if you start to cow call, if she has a bull with her, she's gonna run. So the best thing to do is just to kind of do what we're doing now, just stay quiet, stay low, and just kind of hopefully she'll just kind of go over the edge and we can reposition and try to start looking at the area and find and see if we can find this bull. We got the bull bedded under a cottonwood tree. He's, he's been following the cow for, he follows her for about 20 minutes, and then he lays down. He's, he's bedded a few times, but we've got him bedded under a cottonwood tree up here, and I can't really make a play. We've got good cover here, but it's pretty open. Hopefully he either goes down into the beaver dams in that slough, or comes up on this hill. So right now we got the wind good. We're just gonna watch him see if he stands up so we're just gonna wait him out see if he stands up he's out of range but if he does stand up and start moving or if he starts raking we can use that sound as cover to just try to close that gap but he's a good bull we'll show you All right, the cow, the cow's moving down perfectly right now. There she is, right on the skyline. Right, the bull is right underneath her. The bull is in this thick stuff. They're, they're coming down. So we're gonna, we're gonna flank around like this and see if we can get in there on them. Been here about an hour. He's just staying, he's just bedded down. We gotta make a move to get a shot. So I'm just gonna try to crawl around here, see if I can get position. If I can get position, then you come up. Whoa. Whoa.
Oh baby, it's been a long time coming. Shirus Moose, I cannot believe we freaking stalked in, dude. 30 yards, 32 yards. Oh man, this found a cow, finally found the bull. We had to just navigate, spend several hours navigating, moving all around. We finally found the bull, he was bedded. The cow was somewhere up above. And I had to pull back four different times and I was trying to grunt, grunt to get him to stand up. His rack was swinging around, he was looking. I'd hold as long as I could and when I felt myself creeping, I would just come down, let down, get my strength back, pull back, try it again. And on the fourth try, he freaking stood up. I couldn't see his leg, but I could see the hump. So I, I came straight down from the hump Went to the height halfway up, went back just a little bit behind that shoulder. And dude, it looked like I buried right to the fletch. I could see blood coming out as he ran off. Oh, I'm pumped. What an awesome, awesome chain of events to be able to get in on a a bull moose and a cow doing their thing during the rut and was able to end it with a shot at last light at 30 something yards. And this ties into such a critical thing. It's super important for new bow hunters on large game animals, big game animals like this. If you don't see them go down and you're not 100%, 100% certain on double lung or heart shot if you suspect one lung liver give them time give them time and that's what we did last night we gave them gave them time and ended up coming out here field dressing them in the dark getting them fully propped open we had a hard frost very cool night and i was here at first light to be able to share them with you but more importantly break them down and get them out of here that's a critical rule and you if you when in doubt, back out. It's it's absolutely important if you don't see them pile up. And to tie into that too, I wanna say for the Knock On Nation out there, it is so impressive to see the success of all of your photos this year. And I think all that relates to how much I'm seeing you do the school of knock in the winter time and in the spring. And I'm seeing you on the mountain at the TAC events. We're shooting shots there that are that are beyond realistic for hunting situations, but that ties into something that I learned from Chuck Adams year ago, years ago, decades ago. I remember him saying one time, your effective range as a bow hunter is half of your distance as your effective range in practice. So by going to the tax and shooting some of those longer shots, it's not because that's your first choice, it's because it, you're building that half of your effective hunting distance up. And if you ever have to make a follow-up shot, you can have that confidence. I've waited a long time for a Shiros moose tag. And this is the first moose I've shot here in the US. And I, and honestly, at this point, I've got everything that I want. Five on the right, four on the left, giant flared out Shiros. What an awesome bull. and. It's been a crazy year, I, I had, but to be able to come out here in October and experience bull moose rutting and to be able to get right in on a cow and a bull doing their thing and have several hours of stalking this guy and him bedding down several times and trying to flank around him and then to finally get that shot was just so rewarding. If you're a bow hunter and you're hunting animals during the rut, you have to realize that they are supercharged on adrenaline. This bull could have been in the fight of his life 30 minutes before we saw him, or bull elk that are fighting and you know harems that are colliding and all this going on, and then all of a sudden you put an arrow in something, they're so jacked with adrenaline that they can just go and go and go, and you can't push them. You gotta just play it safe, play it smart, because then you're gonna get your recovery. And honestly, the only thing better than a recovery is the tenderloins, which we got out of this guy late, late, late last night when we came in and looked and we knew we had given him enough time. But what a, an amazing, amazing bull. 
and an amazing year. I am super thankful and thanks to all the Knock On Nation for being there and being such an awesome community. 2022, it's been great. Knock on everybody.